In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Cher is a singer and actress who spent almost six decades of her life involved in music and entertainment, starting off performing with her ex-husband, Sonny Bono, in the 60s and 70s. While Sonny and Cher is now just a distant memory, she would go on to have an explosive solo career that lasted for years and years to come. Often referred to as the goddess of pop, Cher has sold 100 million records to date, and as Aside from her work in music, Cher has also starred in a handful of films. Among her many awards and accomplishments, she's earned both a Grammy and an Academy Award. With Cher's long-running, uber-successful career, she's amassed a net worth of about $320 million or more, and it seems that she's used her fortune to buy and sell some of the most lavish homes you could imagine. One of Cher's first mansions she owned with Sonny back in the 70s was the Owlwood Estate, built in 1936 and located in Homeby Hills, which was once upon a time the largest private estate in LA. But Cher, she would go on to buy more gorgeous mansions nearby as well. These days, Cher's Malibu estate spans 13,000 square feet on a high bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to check out a few of Cher's most impressive homes over the years, from the famed Owlwood estate to her current Malibu mansion and more. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now, let's get into this video. start with the Owlwood Estate, once known as the largest private estate in all of Los Angeles. Located in Homeby Hills, an exclusive neighborhood near Sunset Boulevard, it was also home to the Playboy Mansion. Cher and ex-husband Sonny bought the property for $750,000 in the 1970s, which would be about $4 million today. This home was designed by architects Robert D. Farquhar and built in 1936. Sonny and Cher apparently had their eye on the Owlwood Estate from the start, but bought a nearby house before they could get their hands on this one. The mansion spans over 12,000 square feet with 9 beds and 10 baths, all on 10 acres of manicured grounds. There are features like a tennis court and an Olympic-sized pool with pool house, and over the decades the property grew to its current size. Now it's privately sited on its own gated street, fronting the Los Angeles Country Club. It was built in an Italian Renaissance style, which you'll come to see that Cher is a fan of, and there was a class classic wood paneled entryway with soaring ceilings and a spiral staircase leading to the upper level. The mansion had crystal chandeliers, vaulted ceilings, and wood moldings throughout as well as an elevator. Many of the public rooms had marble fireplaces including the formal dining room, the office and elsewhere, the master suite. There's also a grand living room with solid oak paneling and a ton of space to entertain. While much of the original details were kept in the main mansion, rooms like the master suite were modernized and freshened up. Now that bedroom has a massive dressing room and even in its own lounge, all with a classic white theme. There are amazing gardens throughout the entire property, fountains, a guard tower, and more than one guest house by the looks of it. Cher owned this home until she and Sonny divorced, which wasn't long after they purchased the place, ending with Cher keeping the property and selling it a couple of years later. In more recent years, the famed Owlwood Estate last appeared on the market for a shocking $115 million. Now let's take a look at another former Cher property which I personally love. In 2013, it seemed the star was doing quite a bit of buying and selling, which included purchasing this two-story, charming Tudor estate for $2.1 million. Formerly owned by Ed O'Neill of Modern Family, this house was located in the upscale Beverly Hills Post Office neighborhood, which is a celebrity favorite. It was rumored that Cher bought the property for her son Elijah, but it also could have been a more modest option for her to stay when she's not in Malibu. More recently, in 2019, she sold the secluded home for close to the same price she paid, just at a small loss. Inside the cottage-like residence span almost 3,100 square feet of space, decorated eclectically but very cool. The house is located just above Coldwater Canyon, behind gates at the bottom of a hillside on a quiet street. The brick-accented house offered up four bedrooms, one of which was converted into a den office with wet bar and three bathrooms. There were beam ceilings, reclaimed hardwood flooring, and French doors throughout the home, which led out to the wraparound terrace. Living and dining rooms flowed together, and the combined space shared a carved wood fireplace. While the eating kitchen wasn't very spacious, at least not by celebrity standards, it was flooded with natural light and offered top-of-the-line Viking appliances. 
There were also built-in banquette seats tucked into a curved wall of windows. The giant master suite boasted two fireplaces, wood-beamed ceilings, a spacious sitting area, and amazing views of the canyon, while the attached bath was completely remodeled with a skylight-topped double shower and separate tub. Not to mention the walk-in closet was renovated too, complete with his and her sides and a center island. Outside, the grounds of Cher's former properties spent over an acre full of greenery and nature, as well as a gorgeous waterfall with koi ponds and even a meditation area. Finally, let's check out Cher's current home where she's lived for many years. Despite hopping all over the globe and living in London, buying properties in Hawaii and Florida and more, Cher always seemed to return to Malibu. She has said in the past that she loved the Oceanside community as well as living right on the water. The star purchased this piece of real estate way back in the early 90s for $1.5 million, and over the years, she's created an Italian Renaissance-style mansion on the premises, perfect for a queen like her. It's said she found inspiration on her many vacations to Venice, as well as the famous home of Gianni Versace, and hired her designer friend Ron Wilson to help bring her sanctuary to life. Cher's Malibu Palace is situated on a high bluff above the Pacific Ocean, creating amazing views of the water from almost every room. When showing off her home in 2002 for Architectural Digest, Cher said, Every day when I wake up and look out my bedroom window, I'm never not amazed. Every room has two views of the ocean, each of which is so beautiful. The water is always glistening. The sunset always happening. My house is so special because it's my sanctuary, my fortress, really the only place I have any privacy. There is no place else that I would rather be. Her mansion spans 16,000 square feet of space over three floors and is full of carefully handcrafted details like hand carved marble, limestone fireplaces from Mexico, and even a covered patio with marble arches specifically made for Cher's home by an artisan. He even lived at the house for two years, which is how long it took to make them. There are six beds and seven baths throughout the sprawling custom home, and Cher made sure that she thought of everything. The entrance is, of course, gated, and there's a private driveway and spacious courtyard before you reach the front of the home. The foyer looks antique and gothic and I absolutely love it. Here there's a late 19th century painting of Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene, as well as other gothic revival touches while the walls and floors are stone. Throughout the mansion you'll find plenty of the same design, including antique tapestries, gothic chandeliers, and other historic European details. However, there are still all the modern amenities you would expect, such as a home gym and a movie theater. The impressive dining room has bronze chandeliers ears and a stamped copper ceiling with a table dressed in silk. Then in the living room there is more velvet and silk with a giant stone mantelpiece from Mexico and limestone floors. Cher also says the kitchen is her least favorite room in any home, but she still wanted this one to look beautiful and decided to use Brazilian granite with opal in this room. Her master suite was one of the first things that her and Wilson designed, and while it's a beautiful space, the star wanted it to be functional. There are stone floors with handwoven rugs, an elevated bed, as well as lounge furniture to kick back and relax. Outside, Cher wanted to recreate a specific Florida vibe for the property, so she designed a lot of it herself. Wilson said, She was totally involved with the landscape design, which is unbelievable. She's very gifted. There are several patios, some covered and some not, as well as other tropical greenery and palm trees like those found in the Sunshine State. The back of the house overlooks the sleek infinity edged pool, which appears to overflow into the Pacific Ocean. Other amenities on the 1.72 acre property include a tennis court and separate guest house. In 2009, Cher listed her mega mansion for $45 million, but then removed it some months later, renovating it and then relisting it for $4 million less. While you may be wondering who bought her custom Malibu mansion, and there were rumors that Jay-Z and Beyonce did, in the end she never parted with it. Cher didn't end up selling the place, and according to records, she still lives in her Oceanside Palace to this day. Alright, so now we've taken a look at a few of the legendary Cher's homes, so I think that's a wrap. While we know Cher has bought and sold multiple luxury estates over the years, these are three of my favorites that she's lived in. We checked out the Owlwood estate from back in the 70s, the charming Tudor cottage she owned for many years, and her current gothic revival custom Malibu mansion. After checking out these homes, which was your fave? At first, I thought the Malibu one would be way over the top, but the more I saw of it, the more I loved it. All the antique furnishings and the old European castle-like vibes won me over. The mansion is a dream. But let's be honest, I would take any of them, even just a guest house. Be sure to let me know which share mansion was your fave in the comments down below, and which celebrity houses we should take a look at next. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye!